वेलकम फर्स्ट वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मॉइस्ट हीट और स्टीम कॉजेज स्टेलाइजेशन मॉइस्ट हीट स्टेलाइजेशन कॉमनली परफॉर्म यूजिंग एन ऑटोक्लेव यूटिलाइजेस हाई टेम्परेचर टिपिकली अराउंड 121 डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड प्रेशर टू किल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स इफेक्टिवली द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मॉइस्चर एंश्योर्स इफिशियंट हीट ट्रांसफर एंड डीनेचुरेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन्स इन द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स लीडिंग टू देयर डिस्ट्रक्शन वाई स्टीम स्टेलाइजेशन और मॉइस्ट हीट स्टेलाइजेशन इज डन एट वन ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री सेल्सियस लिदरिटी रेट एंड सेचुरेटेड स्टीम पॉइंट ऑप्टिम एट वन ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री सेल्सियस हेन्स ऑटोक्लो स्टेलाइजेशन साइकिल इज टेकन एट वन ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री सेल्सियस सेचुरेटेड स्टीम एट वन ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री सेल्सियस नीड्स फिफ्टीन मिनट्स टू किल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स टू रेड्यूस देयर पॉपुलेशन बाय सिक्स लॉग Which guidelines recommend for steam sterilization or moist heat sterilization to be done at 121 degree Celsius? EN 285 and PDS Technical Report Number no. One are the guidelines that recommend for steam sterilization or moist heat sterilization to be done at 121 degree Celsius. Which are the three important parameters for steam sterilization? Temperature, pressure, and time are the three important parameters for steam sterilization. All three are equally important. What are the common steps during steam sterilization cycle? First step is preparation. Here we clean and package the components or items. Second step is loading. As per the validated load pattern, we place the items inside the autoclave chamber. Third step is air removal. In this step, with the help of vacuum, we remove air from the autoclave chamber. Fourth step is steam exposure. Here we introduce the steam inside the chamber. Fifth step is sterilization period. In this step, the actual sterilization happens. Sixth step is drying. Here we remove moisture. Seventh step is cooling. Here we cool the chamber. Eighth step is unloading. Here we remove the sterilized items from the autoclave chamber. Ninth and very important step is quality assurance that here we verify the effectiveness of steam sterilization cycle. Why moist steam has more penetration than hot air or hot water? Here are the five properties that makes moist steam more penetrable. First property is enhanced heat transfer. Steam has higher heat transfer capabilities compared to water or air. Second property is lower thermal conductivity. Water and air have lower thermal conductivity compared to steam. Third property is greater energy density. Fourth is vapor pressure. Steam exerts higher vapor pressure, allowing it to force its way into small crevices and pores in material. Fifth and important property is phase change. Steam undergoes a phase change when it condenses upon contact with cooler surfaces, releasing latent heat, which further aids in penetration and sterilization. What are the important steam quality tests, and what are the acceptance criteria for them? Steam dryness, non-condensable gases, and superheat are the three important steam quality tests. You can refer below table for acceptance criteria as per. European large steam sterilizer standard that is EN 285 other important tests are pH conductivity microorganism contents and endotoxin which are the most commonly referred guidelines for moist heat sterilization or steam sterilization EN 285 and PDS technical report number no. 1 are the most commonly referred guidelines for moist heat sterilization What are the pharmaceutical items or components that are commonly sterilized using steam sterilization technique? It includes majorly glassware, stainless steel equipment, rubber stoppers, filters, valves, gaskets, pipings, etc. How is the effectiveness of a steam sterilization cycle validated and monitored in pharmaceutical manufacturing? There are mainly five methods to validate or monitor the steam sterilization cycle in pharmaceutical manufacturing. first is by using biological indicators second using chemical indicators third temperature and pressure monitoring fourth cycle parameters documentation and fifth is routine equipment calibration share some basic information about biological indicators and chemical indicators used for steam sterilization process validation biological indicators are used to verify microbial kill in sterilization processes whereas chemical indicators are used to monitor sterilization process parameters refer this table for examples and guideline references which equipments in the pharmaceutical industry work on the principle of steam sterilization autoclaves or hphv steam sterilizers steam in place that is sip system sterilization tunnels steam sterilizers for clean rooms and sterilization chambers 
are the equipments that work on the principle of steam sterilization. What are the advantages of steam sterilization over dry heat sterilization process? Effective penetration, faster sterilization, microbial inactivation and uniform heating are the advantages of steam sterilization process over dry heat sterilization process. What are the limitations of steam sterilization over dry heat sterilization method? Moisture sensitivity, corrosion risk, processing of heat sensitive items, penetration issues and requirement of specialized equipments are the limitations of steam sterilization technique over dry heat sterilization method. Last and very important question what are the factors that directly impact on the effectiveness of steam sterilization cycle? Temperature and pressure, steam quality, air removal, effective drying and exposure time are the important factors that directly impact on the effectiveness of a steam sterilization cycle. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.